Hello, hello! Welcome to Inklings with Irina, the weekly energy show connecting you to your intuitive guidance system. And this week, thank you for all of you who voted on the topic for this little mini training. I'm so, so touched that you reached out and you gave me your feedback, so thank you so much. And the winner is, drum roll please, the one tool that helps you get out of your head to make a sharp, clear decision. Oh my goodness. This, this is a fun one. So if we haven't met by the way, my name is Irina Miller. I'm an intuitive energy coach and I've been guiding women for over 20 years on how to get out of their own way, out of their head when it comes to decision making time because so often these highly successful women like all of us and I know you're highly successful too in what you do we get stuck in circles we get stuck in these ruts and just like they say if you want a different result you know you gotta do something different in that middle point so this is what this tool can help you do help you shift out of some of these ruts get out of your head and really tune into your intuitive guidance system now let me know in the emojis or the comments drop an emoji or a comment if you've ever had the experience experience where you know decision time you find yourself waking up in the middle of the night wondering which direction to go in or maybe you get those stress or tension headaches that comes from trying to figure it all out or sometimes you make the decision and afterwards you second guess yourself or you have that regret and when you jump on give me a hello hashtag live if you're here with me live or hashtag replay if you're catching it on the replay but you know it's frustrating. Decisions come up day in, day out. So if you had a tool or a technique to make it a little bit easier, and especially one that was fun, wouldn't you wanna know? And hi, Sonia, great to have you. So thank you, thank you for being here, and I wanna share this tool with you because I am sure that you are so, so curious what it is. So I have it here in my little bag. Aha, actually, I brought three of them to talk with you about. So the tool itself is the pendulum. Oh my gosh, maybe some of you guessed this already, but let me know too in the comments below. Have you ever used a pendulum before? Have you used different types of pendulums? Um, there is a whole world out there when it comes to learning these tools and techniques. Hi, Sherry. Oh, I'm so glad that you're here. Fantastic. So the tool, the winner is the pendulum. Now something that's important to know about pendulums is that they come in many different shapes and sizes. This is a crystal, a beautiful little soda light crystal. I also have a pendulum that is made out of bloodstone, which is a wonderful one for opening the heart and healing. And then even one that is a quartz crystal and it's shaped in the Merkaba. So this is starting to get us into some places where pendulums on the surface like anything is very simple and easy accessible tool to use oh good Sonia you have one fun but there are many many great depths and richness to learning these techniques and tools now the first thing I want to say is that there's really two paths you can go using the tool of the pendulum oh Sonia yours is quartz cool so yeah let me know in the comments if you have a pendulum what is your made up yours made out of what does it look like what shape is it in because the pendulums can be used for dowsing, asking questions, great for yes or no type questions, or it could even be used for energy healing. Now this is a great place where you wanna to start to draw a distinction or a line, because if you're using it for energy healing, you want to use a different type of pendulum that's not made of crystal. Why? Well, because the crystals hold energy. They hold programs, especially quartz. Quartz is a great amplifier. It's a great um, recording tool. It remembers things. So if you were ever doing energy healing, instead of using a pendulum made out of cr a crystal, like having a crystal end, you want to use one that's made out of metal. And that's a whole other topic that I'll get into another time. But for today, we're talking about using the pendulum for yes or no type questions so you don't have to worry so much if you have a crystal pendulum because here's the thing that is another so we're getting into the richness and the depth of it you know already that the pendulum can be used for healing or it could be used for ans answering and asking questions right these yes no type questions well let's drill down a little bit deeper with that 
So the next aspect to really tune into is the type of crystal that's on the end of your pendulum. Sometimes you wanna have a certain experience. Let's say you're looking for real wisdom and knowledge on a particular topic, you know, you're trying to figure out what do I study? Which direction do I go into? You really wanna tap into that inner knowing of inner wisdom. Sodalite would be great for that. If you're looking into healing your heart, matters of the heart, that's when a bloodstone would be wonderful. And let's say you're looking to manifest or to really amplify and amp up energy, quartz would be great. Now this is just a high, high level kind of, again, even though we're drilling down a little deep, to give you an introduction to why would you be interested in having different crystals on the ends of your pendulum? Well, to really connect to the deeper experience of the question that you're working with and the answers that you're searching for. Another interesting aspect is the material of the pendulum. So you'll notice that my pretty blue sodalite has a metal, wonderful, string or cord or connection, I guess is probably the best way. And this is a great conductor for energy, this me this metal. And then of course we could go into the layers of the different kinds of metal, which are better for conducting, like copper is wonderful for conducting energy. But then you'll notice black cord or string. So if you were to ever go down the path of energy healing with crystals, you would use a cord instead of a metal connector because you don't want to be drawing the energy from the person you're working with back up to you. So the final thing I want to leave you with in this wonderful little mini training about the crystals is the way that you hold them. So again, it's going to be different if you're using the pendulum for question asking, for dowsing, curiosity, right? Which way do I go? Help me get out of my head, clear that brain fog, receive extra intuitive guidance, get into my heart. How do you do it? Because it's different when you're working with energy healing. If you're doing energy healing, the way that you hold it, instead of having your palm open, you're going to hold the string and you hold it about a thumb's distance away from the end point of the string and then you just hold it like so. So it's a much shorter length of string and the hand is closed. That way the hand chakra isn't open when you're working with the pendulum for healing energy. So many different healing energy modalities. When I do um, the energy with the Reiki and the Sekem Sekim, I have my hands open and just hovering right around the body. So it's always different. Now, if you're asking a question, you're going to hold the, the end point with your thumb and your index finger and middle finger. And you can play with this a little bit. You might find you like just thumb and index finger, thumb and middle finger. But the idea is that you wanna just get used to the pendulum and start to play with it. All right, so there are so many, so many more layers that I could go into with the pendulum. It's more than just kind of saying, all right, which is a yes and which is a no. Um, it's really, really fun to learn and explore. If you're curious and you wanna know a little bit more about the pendulums, let me know. Let me know what you've used the pendulum before but just remember that like any relationship this is a process of time it is something you develop you don't want to go right into asking questions like you know should I leave my job should I stay <laughs> those big questions that cost you so much develop a relationship open the lines of communication just like you would if you were starting to date someone you know you don't ask those big ticket questions right in the beginning like what should our kids names be <laughs> <laughs> but instead, you start with the little things like, hmm, should I have fish or chicken for dinner tonight, you know? Or should I go out to the movies or stay home? Just simple little things to develop a relationship. It'll go so far in creating a new connection for you to access a tool that helps you get out of your head, clear away the fog, and really come to decisions that you feel so good about that sit well with your soul. So thank you, thank you for joining me. Candy, great to have you. Sonia, thanks so much for jumping in. I really appreciate all of you being here. I hope you have an incredible day, and I'll catch you on the, oh, hey, before I go, I wanna mention, I have fun, fun things going on in my group. So I'd love to have you there. This week is a really special week. A lot of um, fun adventures um, that are coming up, some surprises. So click on the link above to come join the party and we'd love to have you. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Mwah. Bye.